Okay, I want to very quickly show you how to use the software to measure the size of these bacterial or mold colonies. The program we're going to use is called Fiji, and the website I'll send to you, just F-I-J-I dot S-C. Uh, this is just another, it's a different name for a program called ImageJ, um, which you see right here. This is an open source software. Anybody can use it. It doesn't cost anything. It's very powerful, and that's why we use it. Okay. The main thing is, if you use it, you got to make sure you cite it, and you've got a button right here on the web page that you can click, and it gives you information on how to cite it. So if you use it, cite it. And if you want to get it, you click on download, of course, and you can do Linux or Apple or Mac and uh, uh, Apple or Windows and whatever um, bit. I'm using 64-bit Windows, so I use this one. It runs on Java, I think. And you just download it, and you don't have to install it. Um, you just unpack it, and it looks like this. And all you have to do, um, at least for Windows, is find this .exe and just double-click it. And what I did is I just made a shortcut to it on my desktop. So either way, that just launches the program. And we'll give it a second. And this is exciting. Waiting for it. It does take, it does this. It takes a second to start, and I don't know why. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of this. And here is the program. This is a little thing, uh, but it does a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Open, and I've taken a picture of one of the petri dishes and here it is and I move this up here and so you can see that uh, this is one of the petri dishes you can see some colonies on here it's on a dark background which helps the colonies show up and you also notice that I made sure and got a ruler in the picture with the petri dish this is critical because you need to use this ruler to calibrate the software once you calibrate the software you can determine the area of these colonies in square millimeters, but you can only do that if you have something of known size in the picture. That's why we always put this ruler in the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this straight line and I'm going to click and drag it a known distance. And in my example here, I'm going to click and drag it 10 millimeters. And you can go as long or short as long as you know the distance. But the longer you do it, the, the better off you are. I'm just going to drag this back just a smidge. That looks pretty good right there. Now, if you want to get really good, really close, you can hit the plus button on your keyboard. And you can zoom in. And you can see that I could do a little bit better. So I'm going to drag this back just a little bit. And the better you do this, the more accurate your results are. And I'm going to get it to line up a little bit better. That's pretty good. All right. So now we know that this red line here is exactly 10 millimeters. So let's tell the software that. Let's go to Analyze, Set Scale. This window pops up. And you see it's measuring the distance in pixels. You know that that is a known distance of 10. And the unit is millimeters. And now when you hit OK, now the software is calibrated. And so you could redraw another line. And that should be 5 millimeters. And if you... Um, hit control M and where's my measure window uh, don't know why control M didn't work but you see the uh, length right here in the results window is 5.02 so that's pretty good so now our um, software is calibrated so I'm going to hit the minus button a couple times to go back to the full picture. So now all we need to do is measure the area of each one of these colonies. 
And I'm going to do that with the polygon tool here. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to slowly click around the edge. Being as careful as I can. And you can also zoom in, and we'll demonstrate that here in a second. And when I get all the way back to my starting point, I'm going to double click, and there I have a polygon. You saw how it changed. And now if I go to Analyze, Measure, in my results window, you see that I have the area, 28. And we know that that is 28 square millimeters because I calibrated with this ruler. Now, each time you do one, you have to hit that measure again. So now I'm going to do a second one here. This one I'm going to zoom in on a little bit. And I'm going to carefully click around. Double click. Analyze measure. Um, my results window got hidden back here, so I'm going to pull it up here. And you see, here's my next one. And I'm just going to repeat for every uh, colony that I can see. And it would help to have the Petri dish sitting next to you while you're doing this. Because sometimes the photograph isn't real clear what is, uh, it's not, you know, you can't really tell what is a colony and what isn't. But if you've got the Petri dish sitting next to you, you can do that. So you want to do these one at a time. Not sure why, why Control M is not working for me, but the measure works for me. So for example, this thing, you go, what is that? Well, I'm looking at the Petri dish and it's nothing. And I'm actually looking and... Um, like this looks like a colony in the picture but when I look at the petri dish I can tell no that's just some schmaltz and so I can just do and this one I'm not being as careful with analyze measure and there's still a couple more on here but you get the idea so now, here are all my results. What I want to do is just transfer those to Excel. So I'm going to go Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy. I'm going to go to an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to go Control-V. And you see that I've pasted all my values there. Now I want to make sure I label them properly. You see. I've got the mean, the min, the max. Ignore those. Those have to do with color values. Area is all you want. So if I come back to my Excel file, this is area. These I don't care about. And there you have it. And that's how we use the software to uh, measure our bacterial colonies. Let me know if you got any questions.